for here with me today. Um, I am so excited because I hit my 15 day of the 30 day paintings. That's halfway. So that's feeling pretty awesome to me. And now I woke up this morning and I decided that I kind of want to, at this point, I want to go in a little bit of another direction and that is taking these landscapes and pushing it even a little further in the abstraction. I don't know what this means. I don't know why. Um, I just have this like idea of almost um, blocks of color for landscapes but then blurring out areas and I'm not sure. It's just something that came to my head and and again I'm one of those people that I just I have to go with my heart and I have to go with what's what's telling me what I should do. So this is it. Um, I don't know how how it will happen today or if it will just pop up later but that's what what I'm thinking of right now. So um, so I'll see you in the next segment once I get started and we'll see where this uh, brush takes us. Okay, bye. Very abstract, but you'll be able to tell it's a landscape. It might be a little more um, moody or subdued even, might be a better word. Um, I don't want it to be, I did one earlier and I, I really like it, but someone made a comment that they thought it was a little bit, um, what was the word she used? Um, not somber. That's not really even the right word for that. Um, it was a word, though, that kind of I didn't know if that was a positive in my mind. So I, she meant it in a positive way because she really liked it. But the way it came out, I thought, ooh, that's not really what I wanted to achieve. So I'm working on that right now. And um, again, I'm just laying in some personality. Of course, this will all change. But I like to just establish just the feeling or the idea of where I'm going with this. And I'm, I'm thinking something coming in. I'm not sure what that is. So I'm going to lay in. And I don't know if you remember before, but I have to be careful not to get things too muddy. So I'm just going to lay in some big areas right now. And that way I don't have to worry about later on if they um, merge together because I'll be able to control it a little bit better having them spaced out and stuff. So um, so I'm thinking bigger masses, kind of funneling the eye through here. Uh, I don't even know, I guess it's gonna be kind of a, I don't know, maybe a grassy wetland kind of area, like a, yeah, something kind of grassy. But again, I don't know, I don't know how much of it I want. I, I need to be careful not to get too realistic. So um, again, I'm just laying in a bunch of areas that I think would be fun. I want this to kind of almost feel like it's dipping down. So I'm going to put some grass in here too along these rocks. And hopefully when I'm done with this, you'll definitely be able to tell it's a landscape, but it's going to be very expressionistic. That's at least that's my goal. We'll see. I'm going to put in, lay in a little bit of red here. And notice how I'm kind of working around the colors right now. And again, I'm just establishing color. I'm not trying to do much of anything else right now. This is my color story, I would call it. And it can change. But that's what I'm gonna do right now. So in a way I'm working the same as I did before. The only difference is that now I'm being a lot more less control, more about shapes and color combinations, more about that than I am the actual painting itself. So I like this. I mean, it draws my eye in. I feel good about it. Now how, I'm gonna put a little blue in here. How do I get, my question is to myself, this is what I do. Okay, Nicole, that's great. Now, how are you going to get or achieve getting that loose contemporary feel that you're looking for or expressionistic feel that you're looking for? And that's that's what I'm asking myself right now. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, so I'm just gonna come in here and lay in a few things and then decide. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Okay, so good. I'm feeling good about this. Um, the other thing is because I want the eye to draw into the center here, I'm just putting in some highlights just to remind myself 
they're not really meaning a whole lot to me right now, but they're in here and I know that that's kind of how my eyes gonna draw into this back area in here. So that's cool. Okay, so now I am going to start playing with the paint. I like using the big brush. Um, I spoke about that also in my previous videos. And again, I'm just, I'm just kind of um, merging and establishing a softer feel on some of these areas. And again, because I don't want this too realistic, I, I'm gonna kind of just really do a lot more of the merging than I did before. I wanted to have like a haze, I guess, look kind of almost, I don't know what I'm looking for. I just, all I know is I, I have something in my head and I need to get it out, so I'm, I'm going with this. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've all have, if you're an artist, you've experienced that same feeling I'm talking about. By the way, I do appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. And um, that's the, it's a good time for me. This is a good, uh, these are good days. These are, um, these are learning days. These are days that I'm gonna look back on and appreciate the time I took out to make these videos. And, you know, unfortunately, I wish I had a more professional way of doing this, but I'm making do with what I have and hopefully it will help also inspire someone else out there like me. And um, if not, I'm, I apologize. I, I, um, I do the best I can with the time I have. And that was the other reason why I did this challenge is I wanted to get a collective body of work and I also wanted to be able to continue my painting every day and not get frustrated or upset if I want to try a new direction. And this is this is my new direction, I'm liking this. So as you've seen, I'm working with this big brush. You'd think, wow, how is she doing that? But um, for me, it's it's, I really like the feeling that this does because it takes away some of my control. If I have total control over something as far as painting, then it's not it's not as fun and I think my personality gets a little bit lost in in the way and so for me this is my style it might not be yours but you can take the idea from this and kind of run with that um, again these are also going to be up on my website and um, they're for sale if anyone is interested Probably, you know, I've been thinking about it. I might change it because right now I'm only offering them for $50, which is, you know, it's still a lot of money, but it's a very good value. And I'm thinking I really want to be able to frame them myself, and that's going to add some cost, quite a bit of cost into these. So I, I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet, but if you want these, definitely take advantage of them now while you can because its prices are going to change. I'm going to probably have to do something different with that. So, I just like to offer options for people at the beginning. I believe that art should be for everyone. And if you can't afford the $1,000 piece, maybe you can save $50 and uh, have a memory. So that's what I'm going for here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm having fun. I'm just playing with the paint and um, working on establish a mood again. It's hard to do this with this. Not I should have taped this plate down. By the way, I am working on a metal plate that I cut myself. It's just a pop, um, brass, brass metal. And um, using oil paints. And right now it doesn't look like I'm doing much here, but I am trying to figure out how much of this gold I want to come through. So I'm just playing. I don't know. I'm going to rub this in so it kind of gets a smoky haze over here. I like that. And yeah, so overall I, I like this direction and <laughs> hate to say it, but I think I might be done. Um, I, I do think I want to put in some of my, just because I enjoy those big blocks of color. 
So now that I have this established, I probably should put a little more blue in that sky. Let me just do a little bit of that. Um, and, well, maybe we're doing purple. I didn't realize I had purple on this brush, but that's okay. It's funny. Um, I'm just hoping that this is abstract enough. And if not, tomorrow, tomorrow's another day and I can, I can try to, to get more. But this is a good start for me. And I, and I can get some feedback from people. Not that, you know, so much I really, I mean, I care about feedback, but at the same time, I have to go with my heart. And my heart's saying I need to do this, so that's why I did it. Not because anyone's telling me, but just because I, I feel like I need to do it. Okay, um, I like that. I'm happy with that. And so um, at this stage now, I'm going to go ahead and put in some big blocks of color. Wow, the sky just changed. My studio um, lighting just changed quite a bit here. Ho hopefully the video is okay. Um, Give me some different weather going on lately. Okay, so my big bold colors. Um, and you know what I might do is take this back of this brush and just, just kind of have fun with doing some scrapings too. Sometimes that's cool. And you know, I, I, I envision this being even more abstract than I have it, but you know, Sometimes, like, I like to take baby steps in a way, too. You know, this might be enough, actually. So, again, I'm just playing, playing, playing. And, uh, if you notice, I'm not trying to be perfect with this. And if I did, then it's then I'm just, you know, I'm not having fun anymore. So, perfection is out the door in my book. I can really appreciate people that are into that though. I just can't do it. It's just not in my blood. Okay, so, um, I think we're good. Just putting in a few little highlights back in here. Not sure why, but I am. I guess I like that way it draws your eye in. Maybe that's why I wanted to do that. So some, some people call this intuition. I just, you know, I part of it for me is just years of painting, but a lot of it is true. It is it is somewhat intuition, and, and um, usually when I follow that lead, I end up with a better piece. Okay, so really happy with that. Now I'm going to put in my blocks of color, and the way I'm seeing this right now is I want to put some purples and... Um, Maybe some purples, maybe some a few brighter greens and blues, and maybe a black. Yeah, maybe that's what I want to do. So the first thing I want to do then is the black is going to be pretty strong, so I think I might use that one in the back. So I'm going to take a big piece of black and just I'm going to that was just a big bl block or yeah, just a big line here. Okay, I like that. And the next color I'll do, I'll do a layer of purple. I, I like purple and red and all that together, so I'm gonna go ahead and, there's a little bit of red actually on this, so we'll see. I don't know if it will do anything, but I'm gonna put another piece over this one. And I do, I am doing oil, so I know these will kind of merge a little bit together. So I'm, I, I'm kind of prepared, because I've, I've experienced it before with you, as you know and learned by that mistake. And um, so again, I, I, my takeaway on that is to uh, be careful with that. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. So my next piece I wanna do is red, but I'm looking at this brush and I'm going, these are too similar, I don't want them to be the same. So I'm gonna use a different size and a different kind of brush. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a bigger brush. I'm just gonna use this big, I can't decide what I want. Yeah, I think I'll use this big brush here. And, uh, and I think I'll just use this red. And I'm gonna go maybe this way with it this time. Maybe this way so it's not so linear. Yeah, I'll just kind of go like this and then maybe pull something over here. Okay, that feels good. And uh, maybe not sure what that's gonna look like. Um, 
Sometimes I like using what's on my brush, and so I'm, I'm tempted to see what that would do, but it might be too, I'm gonna get a different brush. <clears throat> and I think here, I'm gonna go ahead and do, I like this gray color that's happening in here. So again, I'm going with my, my intuition on this one. I'm going to take some white and black, what I have left, and just kind of merge a little bit of that scraping going on in here. And I think I'll go kind of, I'll first go up, and I mean over, and then maybe smoky kind of make it go up this way. So I'm gonna go over, and then take a little bit more white. Actually, I kind of like it over here maybe. So I'll just take more of that gray, maybe a touch of purple and, and blue even with it. And then I'm just gonna rub Put a chunk right in here for some reason. Oh, that's cool. I kind of wish it was a little bit lighter. Maybe see if I can get some white and blue into that. I'm not sure. It might be too late. Again, it's hard because the oil paint is already wet. So if I try to put color on top of color, it doesn't quite work the same. I think I'll leave that one, but then put another one like right up in here. Yeah, and that, again, that kind of draws my eye around. I think I like that for that reason. And sometimes I do things and I'm not sure why until afterwards and I go, oh, well, that's why I liked it. So, you know, so it's, it is sometimes a learning thing I just learn along the way when I'm doing things like this. And I feel like, again, I want to put just a touch of blue in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. And I'm liking the stepping back kind of thing. So um, maybe just a t smidge back in here. And I gotta be really careful though because I like the, that subtlety of what's going on in there already. But I just want just a little bit to mirror the shape of that formation. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you once again. I have to get ready for my next art lesson, but I appreciate so much you being here, and, and hopefully you can pop into my blog and check out what's happening in my art world. And if you're a painter, I, I wish you all the best, and I, I look forward to uh, sharing more of these art sessions with you. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, thanks to everyone. Um, I finished my painting and here is a quick little peek of that. I'll have it in my um, blog and on my website and I appreciate you being here today. And the takeaway for today would be, um, I again, just went with my intuition, wasn't um, forced or felt like I needed to look at a photo to get the expression I wanted in the landscape. I have to be careful with merging the colors, not to get it muddy. Um, a time is valuable so for me the time today was important and that was the takeaway was I got it done out of the way so that I didn't get it um, ex uh, ugh, I did not get distracted from other things in my life so anyway have a great one happy art to you all and I look